Welcome to Mega Talk and still the talk show in boxing. So, Devon, the Dream Haney versus Regis Progre, the weighing for the super lightweight championship of the world happened not too long ago. Let's have a look at the weights. Devon, the Dream Haney, he weighed in on the maximum weight of 140 pounds. That is 140. 40 pound on the scale. Regis Progre, he weighed in at 139 pounds. That's 139 pounds. So both of these guys fight for the WBC World Super Lightweight Championship. Remember, Devon Haney, he's moved up from lightweight. He's given up all his belts, the undisputed belts, WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO belts, to move up a weight because he says that he could no longer make that limit without a struggle to now fight the WBC champion in Regis Progre. What's funny is that Devon Haney is definitely taller than... Regis Progre and bigger in size, but Regis Progre is classed as the knockout specialist. So, how have you guys got this one? Pretty even, you know, because Devin is 30 wins, 15 knockouts, no losses, and Regis Progre is 29 wins. 24 knockouts and one loss. And can I just say, the one loss that Regis Progre had, I don't know if he had lost that one. I really don't know if he had lost that one. And the last two fights, what both of these fights have had, they've not been that impressive, especially Regis Progre's last two fights. Devin... He fought against a great, great, great fighter in Lamanchenko. And some people argue that he lost the fight. One thing what I do like about these guys was their face-offs were proper face-offs. Their face-offs was no talking, just looking straight in each other's face for ages and ages and ages. Regis Progre done a facial um, reaction and then sometime later, Devon did. And then when they turned away, then they celebrated and then that's when they started to give it the large. But I must say, I really, really like the way that both of these guys did their face off. Who have you guys got as a winner for this one here? This one's going to be a big one. Tune in tomorrow. This one's going to be on The Zone. If I was going to give a winner, who would I pick? Devon is a great boxer. He's got great boxing IQ. He's got great skills. The one thing with Devon, what I think he lacks is that knockout power, but was the reason why he was unable to knock people out because of his weight was just not right because he had to lose too much weight. Will he now have that power because he has, doesn't have to boil down to the size or will it be Regis Progre, who's naturally a knockout specialist? But people are saying, well, you know, he's a bit of a one-trick pony. I don't think he's a one-trick pony. I think he's got more to him than that. Both were coming off poor results off their last fights, really. But this one here, they both are up for it. And sometimes that's all that you need to be up for the fight. So both of these guys are up for this fight. Who am I going to go on? Mm. I'm going to go for... No, I've bet against Devon before and live to regret it. <laughs> so I'm going I'm to say... No, I'm, I'm going to go for Regis Progre. I know that the majority of people are going for Devin Ainey. 
But I'm going to go for Regis Progre just because I know that he's really up for this fight and he carries a punch and he's going to be going in range to really, really take it on. And he could probably get this one by one knockdown and win on points. That's what I think I'm going to go for. But easily, I won't be surprised if Devin the Dream Ainley schools Regis Progre. But yeah, I think I'm going to go on Regis Progre. Who have you guys got for this fight and why? Thank you for listening to Mega Talk.